Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'm going to talk about uh, Conga Grid. So before I uh, uh, start talking in details about Conga Grid, I just wanted to make one thing very clear, that this video is uh, what I'm doing associated with Conga are uh, not a uh, paid video or not a sponsored video by anybody, right? I'm just doing it for my out of my interest because I've used Conga and I've seen the potential Conga offers to a Salesforce customer. So, uh, so it's up to you if you wanted to buy Conga or not. So I'm not here to sell Conga to anyone. I'm just here to uh, tell you the functionality, what it offers, and uh, you know because I've used Conga, so I liked it. So, right. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, as I said, about the Conga Grid. So what is Conga Grid and why do you need a Conga Grid? Think of a simple scenario, right? You're a sales consultant, you work on opportunity, right? Obviously, you're a sales consultant, you'll be working on opportunity, right? Of opportunity pipelines. So you're on opportunity page, right? And let's say you wanted to uh, look at the accounts details. Or let, let's go the other way around. Let's say you are in a... Uh, in an account uh, details page, right? Let's say you are whatever account you are you are in at the moment, and if you wanted to look at the opportunities associated with that specific account, uh, you obviously need to go to the related list, and from the related list, uh, you go to opportunity, click on opportunity, it will take you to the new page, right? Nice and easy, and then. If you wanted to look at the contacts associated with the account, you go to the contacts and the related list, click on the contacts, you know, it will take you to the different tab uh, on a browser, right? Now, think about the scenario, right, where you can view everything on the same page using a grid, where you don't have to nav navigate to uh, different tabs, right? It saves a little bit of your time, right? It makes you more efficient where you can view everything uh, from the same list, right? Nice and easy. Fantastic, right? So that's what uh, one of the functionality uh, the Conga Grid offers, and I'm going to demonstrate that today, right? So uh, it offers a lot of stuff, right? So that's one of the things I want to talk about it. And if you wanted to know more about the Conga Grid, uh, you can go to the Conga support. It's, you know, this about Conga Grid, like you said. Like I said, enable Salesforce customers to manage, visualize, and navigate data more efficiently, right? And you can you know, go through the documentation if you're interested. Cool. The first thing first, you need to have an org, right? Before you play around with the Conga sign, right? Uh, sorry, Conga Grid. Uh, so so you need to install Conga Grid, right? So it's pretty easy. So go to uh, log into an org, whichever org you are. Uh, if you're trying for the first time, if you're learning for the first time, then prefer to use a uh, free developer org. But if you are trying on a customer because customer wants you to do that, yeah, then Sandbox will do as well. Cool. So now go to App Exchange, right? So when you log into an org, you probably get something like this. So go to App Exchange, right? Um, so what, wait, it loads. Uh, then you go, type Conga Grid, right? And it will take you to this Conga Grid here, right? And then you can read about it, uh, what Conga Grid is about, right? It's a paid, it's not free. So it's, it, you can see the price here. Uh, so I'm using a, a a free demo, uh, you know, demo version, not not a free version. Sorry. Uh, so if you're interested, you can try it out and you know and reach out to Congo support if you, whatever. So you can read about the information here, right? Package content, Lightning components, uh, supporter features. Please read uh, all the stuff here, right? It's always a good practice because there's a reason why, uh, you know. Uh, they put the information out there so that you get better information about what this tool is all about, right? Right, and you can read about the reviews if you want it, right? I'm not going to the reviews anyway, so, uh, and so get it now. So when you get it now, so we'll ask you to, uh, which org you want to install and ask you to give uh, your uh, information so that Conga support can reach out to you to know what you're after, right? So something like that, right? Once you install it, it will take probably five minutes to install it. You get an email that uh, Conga Grid is installed. So you go to this tic-tac-toe icon here, right? And you just say Conga, Conga Grid, right? Take you here. And if you wanted to know about the, the Conga uh, you know, documentation, you can go to, <coughs> excuse me, Conga Grid Setup. And uh, uh, it will just take you to all this stuff here. You can read about it. You know, if you wanted to watch the video, you can watch the video about it. Right, nice and easy, pretty pretty simple. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Conga Grid, uh, quick start, right? And I'm gonna use the pre-installed uh, uh, 
you know, sorry, install pre-built conga grid, right? I don't want it to create a custom conga grid because this is the first episode. I don't want it to complicate it. So let's stick to the very basics, right? So let's create it. And if you wanted to choose the sales one, case management, Salesforce administrator, uh, you can choose whatever you wanted out of these options, right? So I have already done for the sales before. Uh, let's do that again to see what happens, right? And you can see what's included, right? So uh, it talks about, you know, batch tasks and kind of stuff. Please read uh, from this information. Uh, you will get a better understanding, right? It's always good to read, or, you know, before you install stuff. It's a very good practice. Okay, so it's installing, uh, you know, so use existing so you can get all of the stuff, right, and just save it, okay? And override, you know, because I already have installed uh, the stuff before, that's why I got this message. You won't be getting this message if you're installing for the first time, right? Cool, so, uh, so it's done, right? Let's go to Conga Grid now, so, okay, right? It takes you to the new grid. Now, here's the magic happens. You can see it's pretty nice and easy looking grid. Uh, just takes a second, few seconds. See, this is nice and easy looking great, right? So my accounts, right? So you are my leads, my opportunities, my accounts. So I'm gonna go to the my accounts, right? So, uh, so from accounts, you can see the opportunities here, right? So let's say I look at this account. It's a demo. So when you click here, it will take you to the new page. That's fine because if you wanted to drill down more information, but if you do not want to do this, all you have to do, uh, select here, right? When you select here, you will see uh, information on the right hand side, and you can see the contacts associated with it, right? And um, you can also create a new contact if you want, right? So let's say I, I wanted to create a new uh, let's say I wanted to create a new case, right, for this specific account. So go add, right, and I say priority medium. It's up to you, uh, and uh, escalate it, and uh, say okay, and escalate it. Uh, so save right so the cases right okay so what we're gonna do here right so you can actually um, uh, go to so we can go to edit here right and this talks about a very basic case that you created and then if you wanted to uh, type about more information you can do that uh, this is uh, uh, a faulty stuff. Uh, right, whatever. Right, just save it. Okay, so origin, just save by phone. I have a customer contacts you for whatever reason, right? Okay, so let's go back and let's look at a contact here. Like, so you have a contact here. So, you know, it expects you to, uh, you can add minimum information, you can add more information you want. So, uh, you have here. Uh, so you have a lot of options. You can actually read through it and you can here, you see the fields. If you wanted to add more fields, like for instance, in terms of cases, right? We had only three fields, right? So let me to hit here. And let's say I go here and I go to fields, right? Uh, just a second. And if you wanted to add more fields, right? So let's say you wanted to have the case origin, you can add the case origin, case reason, right? Uh, right? So, and uh, so you can see the case reason you can put, okay? And then you can have a uh, description if you want it, right? And so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And you can, you can, yeah. So you can see that you've added new fields, so you can add the case, case reason. Uh, you can say, whatever, some breakdown or whatever description this is faulty right so you can actually customize the fields what you wanted to see on that grid right so uh, that's that's pretty handy right so you can create everything from one grid you don't have to go anywhere else right so the reason why I demonstrated a case right uh, in uh, in different window because I wanted to know the fields that's out there because I don't I, I don't remember at the top of my head so that's why I took you there so that uh, you can add more fields to it Right, so I have a contact here, right? So let's say I wanted to add more contacts, so you can add, right? And then you can say Pete, right? Uh, David, right? Whatever. And if you wanted to, let's say if you are only interested in a um, few fields, you can stick to whatever uh, they offer out of box, or you want you can add more fields, right? So let's say Pete 
uh, Dave at test.com, whatever, right? Okay, uh, and save it, right? Cool. And then in the same way, you can actually uh, look at the chatter, right? You can actually, you know, see the chatter information. If you wanted to post something, you can do that here. See, and then you can um, actually add an opportunity. If you were interested in to add an opportunity, you can uh, add opportunity from here, right? So let's say it's a new test. Uh, input whatever you want, you know, just to say amount, just say put a thousand, whatever makes sense for your business, right? Um, and stage, we have uh, prospecting, so just say prospecting as well. Let's say it's, it's a qualification stage, right? And just save it. Sorry, ah, oh, crap. Right, I'm um, just gonna do here. Yeah, okay, we can just save it. Okay, close it. So it saved the existing one, so we can forget about for that. Okay, and then let's me refresh it for a second. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, and now we uh, go to my accounts again, right? And then um, we go to this demo here, right? And you can see new opportunities added, new contacts added, right? And a new case added, right? Sorry, not the new case. So. You're getting what I'm trying to do here, right? You don't have to go to a new screen. You don't have to go to a new tab. You don't have to open a new, uh, you know, interface to uh, to work with cases, opportunities. You know, you can do all from one grid. Another uh, feature I wanted to demonstrate, which is pretty cool, you can select all of this. You just drag, you know, select this and select this. See, automatically was selected. And now uh, you can do actions, whatever you want. You can uh, export to CSV if you want. Uh, you can send an email, right? You can send a batch email, right? Uh, you can clone it if you want. You can do batch edit, right? You can do batch add, right? So you can view records in the new window. So you can do a lot of stuff with this one, right? So these are very powerful options. If you are interested, check it out. You know, you can read about the Conga uh, documentation uh, about Conga Grid from a Conga documentation, right? So, I mean, if it's something which works for a business, go for it. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't work for Conga, nor I'm, you know, uh, doing this to sell stuff. I'm just doing it because I find the products very useful, right? So that's why I'm just, you know, talking about it. It's not, like I said, it's not a paid promotion. Conga never told me to do that. I'm just doing it my own interest, right? Because, you know, if you're in a Salesforce ecosystem, right, you will come across cool, cool tools, uh, cool, uh, you know, uh, yeah, tools like Conga. So it's good to talk about it so that different people know about it. When there is something good out there, right, there's it's nothing wrong in talking about it, right? So, so that's pretty much it. Cool. All right. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about it. So if you're interested, play around with it. You see how you feel, right? Cool. That being said, greetings and adios from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.